Injuring the tree can be accomplished using a wide variety of tools and techniques. How it's done exactly depends on a few variable factors. One is the skill and knowledge level of the climber. Two is the tools they have to put that knowledge to good use. And three is the tree itself. The sheer variable nature of trees demands comprehensive skills and tools to take on the task of entering and working in them safely. No single school of thought or method is inclusive to take on all the aspects of tree climbing or its related work. The climb line is the arborist's most valuable tool. When optimally positioned, it can provide a sure means of support to move efficiently through the broad structure of a tree and work safely within the fragile nature of its limbs and tops. Beyond that, the climb line can provide the means to traverse between trees and do work in places too dangerous to access otherwise. In combination with the lanyard and spurs, the climb line completes the triad of essential anchor points needed for proper and safe work positioning. And as no other tool can, the climb line affords a quick and speedy exit out of the tree to safety. The throw line is the first thing I take out of my truck. Because as a climber going out on a job, the first thing I want to do is set a line in a tree. Just about any kind of light line can be used for throwing, but certain kinds do lend themselves better to the task. The heights and accuracy that the big shot is capable of far exceeds that of mere flesh and bone. I have this big shot set up with a quick release and a tackle system for drawing back the snubbers. The method of footlock rope climbing has been in use since very early times. Many primitive cultures adapted the method thousands of years ago. In spite of that, footlock method is hardly considered old school. In fact, it's the preferred method of entry by most arborists in the urban setting. The technique of climbing with the spurs and flip line is straightforward on small stems. It's done much the same way a lineman climbs a pole. The step path is narrow here, and so you have to pay some attention to how you set the points. Because this is where many novice climbers stick themselves in the ankles. This tree is 14 foot. The climber is Eric Schatz from Eureka. Eric rigged trees in Klamath, too, right alongside Jerry Burhagen. In 2005, I asked Eric if he would meet with me at this tree and do a demo climb. He was kind enough to oblige. In the early years of single rope climbing, before mechanical ascenders, the Prussic Knot and its family of friction hitches were the state of the art in rope grab technology. Today, we have a multitude of mechanical rope grabs and connectors that make setting up a single rope climbing system a literal snap. And it can all be done without having to know a single knot. <laughs>